All right. Hello, everybody. I'm excited to walk through snippets here today. Um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll go through what they are, uh, the use cases for them, and then how to create them as well. So uh, <clears throat> snippets in Customario designed for what I call universal content. That's content. That's not a Customario term. That's just something I made up. But it's content that is uh, frequently used in most, if not all, of your campaigns, right? So every time you create an email, there's typically content within that uh, space that is reuse. So what's an example? Your logo at the top of an email is used pretty much every time you create an email, right? The footer down here, the things in the footer, like the unsubscribe link or the address, these things are present in every single email that you send out. And most of the time, it's not a big deal in the sense that you can take an email in Customario, just copy it, and it'll inherit everything you created and you're good to go. The problem comes in when uh, you end up having to change that aspect of your email and you have hundreds of touch points that now you have to go change. Snippets allow you to make a single change across all those and, and the change will be reflected across all those emails as opposed to having to go into every single asset and manually change it, all right? So I've had to do that before, learn the hard way, uh, hopefully this will spare you some pain. So let's talk about like how to actually do it. So the address at the footer of an email is a great one to start with. <clears throat> you might get to a point where your headquarters shift or you purchase a PO box and you need to change this. Uh, so I've got this fake address here and right now it's just hard coded, hard written into the email and um, in like a text box. I'm going to copy this and uh, we are going to duplicate a tab here because I'm going to want to keep this up. And on the right hand, sorry, left hand side of all of this as I move this over, uh, under the content section you can find snippets. And uh, we haven't created any yet, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to create it and I'm just going to call this company, oops underscore address, okay? All right, uh, <clears throat> now it gives you a code editor to put all this in. So if I were to just put in my address here, like it, you can see it copies it in, but there's no formatting. I'm gonna go ahead and um, save this. Now, even though it's on different lines, uh, you get this little bit of code, a snippet that you can copy and then you'd come back to your email and you would paste it in, okay? So I will save this. And when I go to preview this now, you can see that it dropped it in. Now, snippets will inherit most of the styling that you've placed already in the container. So you can tell here that it, it's the same as this, but it doesn't inherit anything that you kind of assume, right? So even though I've got this on different lines, this is not a like a WYSIWYG editor, it's a code editor. So if I wanted to switch these or make these on different lines, I'll have to mark them up with HTML so that that happens. So you can see it was all on one line now, but now if I refresh the page, and preview, there. So now I've got most of the formatting that matches, and if I want to change this color, I'll have to, um, I'll have to come in and hard code it like this too, or, or code it within the um, snippet portion as opposed to in here. <clears throat> All right, so that's the use case. You can do it for text. I've done it mostly for text, a lot of footer stuff. Uh, I've also used snippets for logos, like I said at the beginning. Um, cause then when we did a rebrand, I was able to do a single update with the same dimensions, image dimensions, and it fit across, um, all emails that were already in place. I will make one note when you're using images, um, you end up using what's called a dynamic image. So you'll choose, a, a like a default or a backup image here that, uh, is what will actually probably show but for a dynamic URL, you'd put in the snippets here, which would just be like a thumb, a thumbnail URL address that you get from Customer.io. 
So, <clears throat> in the, in fact, let me come back here. So, in your snippets area, sorry, this is going a little longer because I thought this might be important. So, here, when you create the snippet, you'd be something like logo uh, URL, right? And then I'd actually put in the image URL here, just the straight URL. Uh, then, coming back here, it will pull in that image URL into this and across all uh, emails that I've done that for. So you'll have a backup where you'll probably stick that same one uh, there, but what will show is this dynamic URL so long as that um, value populates. So hope that's helpful. Uh, this is a really important step to just scale your uh, emails so that you don't have extra work for yourself down the road. And uh, yeah, we'll see you around.